the most anticipated movie of 2020. So we just got the first trailer for Rattlesnake, the Ahana story. Now this is a remake of the 90s crime classic that had Francis Dury in it and even Ernest Dury and a couple of other guys. It's pretty old, I don't remember some things about the movie. But anyway, Play Network Studio decided to do a remake of the movie and now the trailer just dropped. And we're going to talk about the trailer a little bit, you know, my take, my thoughts on it. But first, let me talk about this thing that Nollywood does a lot, where they'll come and say the most anticipated movie, you know, say people anticipated the movie and then you're dropping a trailer two weeks before the movie comes out. Yes, the movie is coming out November 13. And how? How do you say a movie is the most anticipated movie of the year? I mean, yeah, you dropped a couple of character posters some months ago, or was it last month? And now you're dropping the trailer just two weeks before the movie, and you are telling us it's the most anticipated movie. Who anticipated it? What did we see to anticipate it? Is it just the story? Kula and Falana 2 does the same with his movies, where you wait two, three weeks before your movie, and then you drop a trailer. Come on now, give us room to anticipate. Give it time to marinate. Like now, let me give you an example of uh, No Time To Die when it was dropped last year. We wanted to see the movie in April, but you know, come out. Then we wonder Woman the same thing. Even Fast and Furious 9. But you see the anticipation of the movie was able to build up because of when they dropped the trailer. Now, we just dropped this one. But anyway, I hope they hear our voice someday to drop it so we can anticipate. Now let's talk about the trailer. The trailer opened with Stans in the character, you know, he's probably playing Ahana and he's there, you know, just brooding like Batman that lost his suit or his Batmobile, talking about how he has lived through a lot and, you know, even the synopsis of the movie that we got from Rancinoa's page said he has lived through injustice and inequality and all that. Typical Nigerian. All of us, we, we they live through injustice and inequality. I mean, check him now. And SAS and all. Anyway, he decides to like, man, he doesn't care where the chips may lay and all that. So he wants to go for the, you know, you know, when the character says that, that he wants to do something bad and ominous or something like that. And now we now see him, you know, join with uh, Osas, Igudaro's character. I hope I'm pronouncing your name well, Osas. Well, forgive me. And Gucci, frankly, and then they come together, you know, they say, the target, the plan, and they execute. Bam, bam, bam. And then we see that follow through, you know. They did this Robin Hood thing where they were stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. You know, we could even see that some women like, oh, thank Thank you, dear mothers, and all that. And then because of the money they were living lavishly, you know, you see this guy even play Charles of Play. He's in the movie now. You see him there, you know, with a baby and all that. So they were living lavishly, you know, going on skydiving, driving in Monaco or whatever place there, I don't know. But anyway, they were just having groove. And now, this is where I have a problem with the trailer because the trailer didn't say anything fresh, anything new, anything to really ginger my anticipatory, you know, gland or ginger or whatever it is. There is nothing new, there is nothing fresh in the trailer that will make me say, man, I need to see how they did this in the movie. Oh, this is just a tease. Nothing. You want to talk about the rich lifestyle? We've seen that in many movies. The boat they were doing, the skydiving, we've seen that. What is new? You want to tell me you are bringing something new to the story? Well, we'll have to wait in the next two weeks to see. So there are other things, you know, the trailer, and then they stole from probably the wrong guy, and now the guy is after them, hunting them, you know, one after the other. And then we even see, you know, Anna just crying. Probably he lost someone, they killed someone. You know, that's very close to me. And then you know that thing that happens with, you know, crew. There will be somebody who there's always doing gra gra, and then will be spending too much, calling attention to himself to the point that even Stan in the character in the, in the trailer said, you know, you know, I don't know, what did he even talk said? Let me check. Uh -huh. He said, you are getting out of control. So definitely we know Buchi's character is going to be the guy who, who likes to spend doing this, you know, shooting people up and down, just getting out of control. And then this guy is trying to like, you know, bring his head down. And then there's this other character in the trailer. Mm, he has like one eye. They will not show this guy pe pe. That's the reason why he has that one eye. Um, probably no land, but so this is probably the hitman they are sending after them to you know to hunt them. The guy is carrying knife to kill anybody with his triumph and all that. So this character has to be really compelling. Then in the end of the trailer, there was this thing where we saw a mysterious figure, you know, walking, probably going to this guy. Hey, there was one thing I didn't say. The, you know, there's the part of the trailer where there's a, there's a guy that said, Where is my money? You know what that thing reminded me of? Reminded me of this character in Sugar Rush that said, Where is my money? Now talking about the mysterious figure, you know, she just walked, bah, bah, we didn't see anything. Then she just went on to say, if you want Ahana's hair, I will serve it on a plate. I'll be on a platter, on a something sharp. Now I think if I have to judge with some of the movies and, you know, all these kind of crime movies that I've seen, I will say a betrayer, a very big betrayer is looming nearby. So maybe it could be a sad character or somebody close to them, but it's going to be somebody 
that they know that will just betray them or something. So, but anyway, the movie comes out in two weeks. So let's see how it goes. I hope they really blow our minds up. Let me not just come be like, the, you know, how Living in Bondage. Living in Bondage to me was just another movie. It had the flashiness and everything, but it wasn't really. So let's see what Rancino does with this, his second outing as a director. You know that when Hollywood will try to show a police officer and the police officer will have beards, whether it is real or fake, and then nobody. Like me, now imagine if a police officer comes to arrest me wearing the normal police black and black clothes and then the guy is like, you're under arrest and I'm seeing him with beards. I will ask question, Baba, when I precinct, they know they tell when I'm gonna shave and all that. There was something like that in the trailer. Maybe this is part of the gang of Ahana's Amada and all that, but still, this guy was fully clothed in police costume and he had beard. Anyway, we just have to wait, like I said, wait two weeks to see how this movie turns out because definitely I'm going to see it, but still, there is nothing gang gang in the movie. You want to say it was how they were spending money or how they were living lavishly and driving cars and we've seen all of that in some Nigerian movies too. So what is going to be gang gang inside the movie? That we'll have to wait and see. Anyway guys, if you've seen the trailer for Rattlesnake the Ahana story, which is like I said, directed by Ramsey Noir, let me know what you think about it. Do you anticipate it too? Is it part of your most anticipated movie of 2020? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be doing more videos like this since I now have a phone. Yes, so I now have a phone. No, thank you. Kasim Brahma of Yawa, you contributed. So this is how it's going to be. So guys, until I come your way again, please hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you enjoy it. And follow us on our social media platform on Popcorn and Reels. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.